As you can see behind me, this is the Elliot Jacks building. This is the law faculty. Uh, in this building, you have all your seminar leaders, all your um, lecturers, you have everyone that's involved with the law school in this building right here, which is great. Um, so if you want to study, if you don't like the library, uh, or you just want you know, your own personal space and you just want to come and relax, uh, there is a common room and all the lecturers and seminar leaders have their offices in here. Um, they have their office hours on the door so all you have to do is go and sign up with your name and or just pop in if they're in there and they're always willing to help. Every single person who has taught me or who I've asked for help has always been willing um, to help me which is great. Um, and it, it's great to have everyone in one place so you don't have to walk the other side of campus uh, to go see one lecturer and then there to go see another. Everyone is based here. This is the, like, the law school. It, it's just great to be involved in law and have everything in one place. It's really easy. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow me, I will show you inside. Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see around, here is Brunel's very own moot court. Uh, this is a brilliant um, asset to Brunel um, and it's one of the many reasons why I chose to come here. Not every university has a moot court, so if you do come here, which fingers crossed you do, take full advantage of this moot court. So events are held in here, uh, pro bono, mooting, debating, um, they're all held in here. When we have people come in to speak, they'll often sit at the bench, um, if you just rotate the camera you can see it, um, and they give talks. This is an excellent way of how to increase your public speaking, you know, increase your confidence, um, and just practice what life is like at the bar. As you can see, I am wearing a barrister's gown, uh, so I feel like I'm a barrister already. Um, so yeah, it's great to get in the, kind of the role play of, of what being a barrister um, includes. So if you just want to follow me around the camera, I'll come up here. This is the bench. Uh, it looks very much like a courtroom. If you've never been in one, it will look very similar to this. Uh, this is the bench where the judge will sit, so I'm the judge, um, and the jury and the prosecution and the defence in front of me. Um, I, I personally love it, sometimes I bring my friends in here and I practice speaking to them. Um, it's a great way of you know, expressing, expressing case law and statutes and, and pretending that you're a barrister, so when you do make it to the bar, you're not going to be shocked because you've already kind of practiced in front of people in a moot court. Um, there are books here that you're welcome to like have a read when you're in here. I read the Archibalds, um, they include statutes and case law. Uh, you may know when you are in court you have to reference um, these books uh, and reference case law so it is a great way of how to get involved and understand what life is like at the bar. Um, it's, it's a massive room and I take full advantage and so should you. Hi guys again, um, as you can see around me, this is the atrium, um, so if you want to twist your phone, you'll see some sofas in front of me, um, you'll also see lecturers and seminar leaders offices um, all down these corridors, so they are very friendly and approachable, if you have any problems with your work or anything, in, like, anything at all really at university, um, I found every single person to be very approachable and they have helped me through my first year um, and they will help me through my second and third. Um, just a bit about the Law Society, so as I've mentioned previously in the moot call, there is mooting available to you. There's also debating and pro bono. Uh, they are great opportunities to get involved and help people. So pro bono, I took part in last year, and um, it was all about helping people that are less fortunate and who can't afford legal advice. Um, it's very rewarding, and it's such a great experience to get involved with you know, your local... Uh, law clinics and the university when you do go for jobs uh, the first thing they'll probably ask you is what extra extracurricular activities did you take part in and um, you don't just want to be like oh I just done my degree you want to be like oh I done mooting I done a bit of debating I done pro bono I done a law clinic I attended networking events you want to get yourself out there as much as possible um, and to do this, just get involved because Brunel does put on so much for law students and not just law students, we want to um, approach everybody so you know, my friend does anthropology and wants to become a lawyer so she's more than welcome to come along so you don't have to study law, you can be studying anything as long as you're part of the law committee, um, sorry not the law committee, law society um, so yeah, um, I am a campus ambassador for aspiring solicitors uh, they're an external um, kind of 
group but uh, I am bringing them into Brunel so they help people from uh, less economic uh, backgrounds or ethnic minorities or first generation to go to university they help people enter that legal profession um, and I represent them so um, I help people enter the legal profession who might find it a bit harder than everyone else um, there's so many things that you can get involved in at Brunel like that um, and you can be an ambassador for any law firm uh, who offers it and you can bring it and encourage it um, and make a difference um, in Brunel. Um, so, you know, as, as you see around me, uh, the moot court, uh, this is a very quiet area, as you can see it's very quiet at the minute. I will often bring my work in and sit there because the library seems to be very... Um, busy and stressful so here I feel at ease and I feel like if I had a problem I would just go and knock on this person's door hello can you help me with my contract law work um, and they would be more than happy to help me it's a very lovely environment and events are held here and there's always someone walking up and down going you okay um, any help or anything you know it's a very safe environment and I feel very privileged to be at Brunel um, yes yeah, so you know um, I hope to see you guys soon and goodbye